All right, Peach Patch, I had a mom ask me how did I explain the division of McIntyre, and I'm going to show you what I did. Hopefully, this will help you explain. He got it when I did it like this. So, let's say the equation is 36 divided into 6 equals, right? Instead of him trying to figure that out if he doesn't know his timetables by heart, what I had McIntyre do on a separate notebook is just start writing out all his um multiplication from six times zero all the way to six times one so six times zero equals six times one equals six times two equals six times three equals six times four equals six times five equals six times six equals six times seven equals six times eight <laughs> equals i was about to make a nine six times nine equals and then six times ten equals right so he's in fourth grade my son so from zero to ten is sufficient enough for the grade level that he's in and then i just had him solve them so six times zero is zero because anything times zero is zero six times one is six because anything that times six is six you only got six of that one thing is six Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. And I had him start, like, if it got confusing, I'm like, McIntyre, what's 12 plus six? All multiplication is is 12 plus six more. Oh, 18, you know. And then so what's 18 plus six more? Okay, that's 24, Mom. Duh. Okay, well, what's um, 24 plus six? 30. Well, what's 30 plus six more? 36, Mom. Duh. Okay, what's seven plus six more? Like, he was so sassy with me. Seven plus six more. Oh, Lord, look, I got to, I mean, 36 plus six more. I got to do my math better. Four, I got two left over, 42. What's six times eight? All you're doing is adding six more. He's like, oh, mom, that's easy. That's going to be 48. Okay, well, what's six times nine? I'm going to do it. Two, four, 54. And then what's six times 10, a.k.a. add six more to 54? And he's like, Mom, that's a baby question. Anything times 10 so easy, just add a zero to 60, right? So now he has all his answers from zero to six. He know his, I'm sorry, from zero to 10, he know his multiplication of sixes. It'll be easier to teach division if your kid understands multiplication. So I think for division, you just really got to make them memorize their times tables like we used to have to. But I had him write this out, right? And we did it for the nines and stuff like that that was coming up. So once he wrote this stuff out, he could just go find the answer. Well, 36 divided into six. Well, my answer 36 is right here. So 36 divided into six is six, because six times six is 36, so it can go six, mom. You know, so he got it that way. And I just told him, I was like, McIntyre, when you go in class, if you don't know, just do the same thing. You're gonna do nine times zero, nine times two, nine times zero, for those of you who are visual learners. Nine times one, nine times two, right? So we know that's anything times zero is zero. Anything times one is that number. So that's nine. Nine plus nine is 18, okay? You know, and just have them go down. So once their brain can understand the concepts of what's going on with math, it just starts to click. So for him, he was just like twinkle in his eyes. Twinkle. And for those of you who don't know, I was a substitute teacher for five years. I went to college. I wanted to be an English teacher. Um, so, like, to have my kids struggling in school and it's because I'm not helping them, that hurt me on a whole nother level, especially as a child who didn't grow up getting help from my parents. Shout out to Merle, my great grandma tried, but she could barely read, you know. And I started teaching her. That's where my love of teaching came because I remember the first time when my mama made me cry, she wouldn't help me with my homework. I was like, Mom, can you help me with my homework? And my mama was like, bitch, don't you see I'm smoking? Get the fuck out of my face. You're retarded ass, you're dumb ass, right? And everybody started laughing and I started crying. And I went to my grandma Merle, like she seen me crying. She was like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, my mama won't help me with my homework. She called me, don't she call me retarded? And my grandma was like, well, I ain't finished school, but I try to help you. Come here, what, what is that? And I started reading the stuff to her. And she would literally, you know, try to help me to the point where I just started teaching her stuff. I started coming home, look at what I learned. You do this and you do that. I started teaching her stuff. And I believe that's where my love for teaching comes in. Like even when I teach content creators, grown ups, I get those aha moments. They be like, 
I just helped a principal the other day and she had an aha moment. Like you could see it when it clicked. That's the best part of teaching. When it clicked and the person's eyes like, it's a spark. Like it's a spark of self-belief. I could do this. That's the best part. Like the kid gets it, right? So this is my current goal. Like I real deal want to just focus on my kids. That was another reason why I moved to the city I live in. It's very family oriented. Ain't shit here to do. It ain't no casinos. The only thing you could do here, I don't go to club anyways. The only thing you could do here is go out to eat, go shopping, and be with your kids. It's just so family oriented. Everywhere you go, people got their kids with them. You go to a restaurant, they got their kids with them. So that was one of the reasons I moved here. But I hope this concept, I hope this helps. And then for me, this weekend, even while we're driving to Orlando, I'm going to just be doing times tables, sight words, like the whole car ride instead of music. One thing about me, I'm not afraid to admit, like, when I'm fucking up in life, when I need to get my shit together. Once I make the decision, oh, it's the only popping. So, like, this is a decision. This is my focus. My children will do phenomenal this school year. We're going to have an excellent school year. I'm going to get my ass on a real tight schedule. I'm going to, like, finish writing down all the details and I'm going to type it up. My mind is made up. For those of you who've been in Wake Up With Peach, y'all know what this looked like. But yeah, my mind is made up. I have decided we're doing this.